more roots in there in the current area than I had thought. Coming at me, Ben Lighter. Yeah. They are. Look at that big old root. The jump rope with that thing. Yeah. So did you did you have to tear it off your arm? Yeah, but I just had it fed off the hose. I didn't have to plug it in anywhere yet. So no, no big loss. Other than I dug it all by hand. It took half a day to get it all dug out in that clay. Oh man. Talk about her forgiving. the first day is done and as you can see I've got a pretty sizable hole here didn't get as far as I was hoping we run into a little bit of a snag uh, they got the hole dug out too wide uh, we can't be any wider or I don't want it any wider than 19 inches uh, my greenhouse is going to be 20 feet wide and I want solid soil that I can drive the poles for the greenhouse down into and with it at 24 feet wide I'd have been driving it down into that rock and that rock is a three inch rock so they had to fill this side back in they have tamped it down with that great big old hoe And uh, we're in the process of digging it back out. They'll have that done tomorrow morning and then we'll start on the next step. Uh, the depth of my hole here is right on the mark. We're going to be five and a half feet deep and after we have all of the sides cleaned up and a little bit of shovel work it'll be hard to see in the shadow there's a little bit of stuff that we need to pull away from the side and then the foam will start going in uh, we're going to have four inches of foam standing up vertically on all four sides here and after the foam is in they're going to start putting that rock in six inches of that rock is going to go down and then we're going to lay the first ten tiles drain tile the pipe after those are in, we start to cover those with rock, and then there's going to be three feet of rock placed on top of that, giving us three and a half feet of rock. The last set of ten drain, drain tiles go in, and the rest of the rock goes over the top of it. So we should have another six inches of rock, giving us a grand total of four feet. After the rock is in, we have a... Uh, an exclusion barrier. It's a three mil material that will allow water to pass but will not allow soil to pass. If the soil gets down into the rock it will plug the rock and plug our heat sink and it won't work anymore. Day one is done and I hope to have more to show you tomorrow as we start actually filling this back in. I'll set up a camera here on top of this mound of dirt and you'll get to see the process. I probably won't show you every bit of it, but I'll record a good part of it and speed it up and stop every once in a while to talk in the microphone to explain what we're doing. Thanks for watching.